Hey guys, it's Rhino. I just wanted to jump in. I just got the Division 2 and I had a whole bunch of questions. Things that were confusing and I had no clue what to do. Because I just, I bought the $3 pack, $3 uh, game, and then I boosted my character and I had no clue what was going on with any of it. So I just wanted to come in with 10 tips for people that just boosted their character and don't know what to do. <laughs> A lot of this comes with just playing the game, figuring it out, but I figured I'd make a video on it to see uh, how you guys like it. The first tip we have here is uh, mark as junk. One of the things that I didn't know is like I was just right clicking and just deconstructing things by myself. But what you can do is you open up your inventory, press V. On PC, I'm not too sure what it is on consoles. And you can mark it as junk. So when you go in and you can uh, deconstruct all of them, or you can sell them all, you can sell them all as junk, and it just saves you time, saves you a little bit of um, hassle from time to time. And it's just a good uh, thing to have um, ready for you. The second tip I have for you is modding. I didn't know you could do this. Um, I saw these uh, black squares here, and I didn't know what they were at first. And then what I was doing is I was going into my weapons and just right-clicking and modding. But you can just hit F and mod your weapons. This is a, a nice thing. It gives you accuracy bonuses, critical chance bonuses, mag sizes, and everything like that. And... Uh, it's just something that you can do with most of your gear. Um, I think lower end gear doesn't uh, allow it, but um, if you boost your character, you're not going to have to worry about that. The next tip I have is specializations. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew I had a big explosive uh, <laughs> grenade launcher, and I'm like, this is cool, right? But apparently it's part of a specialization. Let me open this up. So right now I'm demolitionist. You get a skill tree. You can put points into it, but the biggest thing is you can have different different uh, specializations. I'm going to accept this, and you have to do field research for these specializations to unlock them. Right now, I am haven't done a lot because I'm just starting, but um, I am going to do the firewall, and you have to finish all these objectives in order to unlock the next level and you get a gear reward and a cash reward for every time you go to it gear cash gun gear and then you get the fire wall so i'm going to be working on that and you can do these with uh every every one of these and you're going to get different stuff depending on how you want to play But I'm going to start with the firewall. These things, uh, I I totally learned about them. I, I had to do some research to see what was going on with them. Uh, this one has a flamethrower. I'm pretty pumped to get a flamethrower, to be honest. You know? It's going to burn some people down. And uh, it just kind of specializes how you want to play. And uh, what you want to do with your character long term. And it's uh, it's it's pretty fun. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, next tip, is the map. <clears throat> cool thing about the map, I didn't know anything about this until I saw someone on stream do it. Um, if you press R on your map, it's going to show you different drops on the map. So when you go to these, like you go to DC East, it's going to show that you're going to get Badger Tough items. Or you're going to get holsters, gear sets knee pads for each uh, section that you go to. So you're going to go here, complete missions, and you're going to get a higher chance to get these items that you need. And you can use these later on to recalibrate, which I'm going to get to um, later. I have to do this assault rifle one, by the way. I have a honey badger, and I want different stats on it because it sucks. Next tip I want to talk about is the dailies. Um... 
they're called projects up here on the map when you go just press Q once and you get different base of operations to do which are like missions that you can uh, do matchmaking with but the other ones I wanted to talk about is the maintenance and the shady goodwill and the black black tusk hunt which you need um, uh, different resources for I have to go to the theater or the campus but you have to go here and uh, turn in let's see if I can go here you have to turn in different resources so I'm at the campus and I'm doing one of the projects this project officer new projects in 13 hours blah 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 so one of the projects is handing in your junk your different things that you don't want anymore and it's gonna give you your dailies um, and give you gear or just random supplies so I'm gonna donate these and it's going towards SMGs, backpacks, neutralized hyenas. I still have to do that and donate Mur Mur Murakami. I don't know how to say that word. I'm not th that smart to be honest, but those are part of the projects. You can go to campus, do uh, electronic maintenance, um, and there's different ones to do every day. Um, some are weekly, as you can see, weekly, and they just give you uh, equipment. See what this one gives you. Ooh, crafting materials. Uh, crafting materials, different uh, shade supplies. That's good. And mostly just... That's a weekly XP one. Hmm. And it's just good to do. Good to get in the habit of. Because when after the Warlords comes out, you're going to have to grind these dailies to get gear. And it's just going to be uh, one of those things you're going to have to do. The next tip I have for you guys is attachments. I didn't know how to get them or anything like that. A lot of them come in blueprints. So you're just going to go over to this crafting station. Go to mods or whatever you want to do. And just scroll through. At, when you get a boost, you get a lot of these. And uh, you can make whatever you want. Like large suppressor. I'm going to craft this. And you're going to get it. And you can use it on any weapons that you want. And you can use multiple. Like it doesn't have to be specific to one weapon. You can use it on all your weapons. If you want to. Going to craft another one. Just to show you. The next tip I have for you guys. Is the recalibration. I just learned about this. I had no clue what this was until I saw a streamer doing it, and it blew my mind. You're going to come over to this table, open it up, say, let's see, let's go to knee pads. You have these knee pads. You have tamper-proof. Um, it's This is part of a gear set, but let's say you want to, you look at these, and it has these attributes, two, 2022 health, and this one has oops, armor regen, total armor. All right, so you're gonna wanna open it up and switch it out with something maybe that you'd want more. It takes that one and it, it takes the one that you just pulled it from and deletes it and puts it on here. It's awesome. So you can use your guns to get different attributes that you want. Next tip I have for you guys, it's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. Um, the cover system in this game is just great. We all know how to take cover, but do we know how to easily go from one cover to another? All you have to do, look where you want to go and hold the space bar. It's going to automatically do it. It's faster than backing off and going to where you want. So you're going to, so rather than doing cover, uncover, run, and cover, all you're going to do is cover, hold space, and run to the next area. It keeps you covered. It has, you take less damage because you're ducked. And it's just a good way, um, good thing to keep in your arsenal when there's a lot of enemies around and you're getting shot at in the face pretty hard. Um, it keeps you... 
The next tip I have for you guys is like armor healing. I always found myself dying because I was low. Like uh, my my armor's flashing red right now. And that means I'm close to dying. Um, I still got life, but not too much. So all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna use an armor kit. All you have to do is press V, hold it down, and then boom, you're all set to keep on firing and go. One last tip for you guys today is that you can swap out your skills at any time you want. Just go to your inventory, double click on anything, go to whatever you want. And it's all equipped for you. Hostiles guarding location nearby. And all you have to do is throw it down, and it's good. Detected. So yeah, guys, those are just some tips for you going into Warlords. You just boosted your character. You're wondering what to do. I hope those helped you. Um, I know that's something I definitely wish I knew before going into this. Um, it would have made my gameplay better. Saved a lot of deaths, I can tell you that. And that's just uh, something for you guys. Just a reminder, I do stream on Twitch. Um, link is down below. You can catch me um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday starting at uh, 7.30 Eastern. And come check me out. Hang out with me, man. And uh, I will see you guys later.